Okay, so here we have been told that y equal to sine inverse of 1 minus x square by 1 plus x square and where x is greater than 0 and less than 1. So uh, here if we put if we put x equal to tan theta uh, then it means that theta will be equal to tan inverse of x. Then uh, so from here we can say that tan inverse x will be gr greater than tan inverse 0 which is 0 and less than tan inverse 1 which is pi by 4. So then from here we can say that 2 tan inverse x that will go from 0 to pi by 2. It means that it is coming within the principal value branch of tan inverse means 2 theta is greater than 0 and less than pi by 2. We know that the principal value branch of tan inverse is minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. So it is coming within the principal value branch. So therefore now y equal to sine inverse of 1 minus tan square theta by 1 plus tan square theta. So this is sine inverse of this we can write it as cos 2 theta. <clears throat> so now sine inverse of cos 2 theta. So sine inverse this we can write it as so sine inverse x plus cos inverse x is pi by 2. So sine inverse x can be written as pi by 2 minus cos inverse of cos 2 theta. So now this is coming also within the principal value branch of cos in inverse. Since the principal value branch of cos inverse is 0 to, 0 to pi. 0 to pi is the principal value branch of cos inverse. So this will come 2 theta only. So this is pi by 2 minus 2 theta, which is pi by 2 minus 2 tan inverse x. So this is y. So therefore dy by dx that will be equal to d by dx of pi by 2 minus 2 tan inverse x. So pi by 2 is a constant. Therefore the d by dx of pi by 2 will be 0 minus 2 into d by dx of tan inverse x. So this will be minus 2 by minus 2 by 1 plus x square. So this is the final answer. Thank you.